In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Instagram carousel post in Canva. For those who aren't familiar, a carousel post is a format where multiple images are connected, making it more visually appealing. So give your Instagram account a boost with carousel post. So here is what I will cover. First of all, how to get the perfect sizing for the carousel post. Then, how to design the perfect carousel. And finally, how to share carousel on Instagram. Stay until the end and learn how to craft the perfect carousel for your Instagram profile. Let's dive in. Step number one, how to get the perfect sizing for the carousel post. To start, we have to decide whether you want a square or a portrait carousel. So for this, we're just gonna go and we're gonna click on create a new design on here. And as you can see, it's giving us the option to make a customized size. So we're just gonna click on it. And on here, we're just gonna change the width depending on how many slides you want to make your carousel. So you just have to make 1080 times the number of your carousel. So for me, because I'm gonna make five slides, I'm gonna make 1080 times five, that is 5,400. So 5,400. And there we go. We have already the slides that I want to get on here. And for the height, you just have to decide whether you want the 1080 or the 1350. So it's depending if you want the smaller one or the portrait one. So for me, I'm just gonna make the 1080. So we already have this. So the only thing that you have to change is the slides. And on here, you just have to decide whether you want the square or the portrait carousel. And that's it. We're just gonna click on create a new design. Now we need to set our guides because of course we have five slides on here, but we don't know where are they, right? It's just, we're just gonna click here on file, and then on here, we're just gonna click on view settings. And as you can see here, you just have to click on show rules and guides. And it's, and it's already showing me my ruler in this side and also in this side. So we can start to set up our guides. So to make this right, we have to make the first guide, which is the 1080, the, the same measure that we make for the first guide. So I'm just gonna put it on here, 1080. If you cannot see and you want to be a bit more specific, you can also go make it more big with this one in the side. And then we're going to grab our second guide. So for this one, we just have to multiply 1080 times 2, which is 2160. So I'm just going to just going to put it on it. We don't have to make the perfect numbers. It doesn't really matter. We just need to make some uh, close guides. And then we're gonna make the same for the third one, which is 3,240. Okay. And the fourth one, which is 4,320. Okay, there we go. So we have one, two, three, four, and five, the five slides that I wanted to make from the beginning. Canvas is already gonna set your guides. So you can just grab them and then also set it on here. There we go. So now we have our complete set of guides. This is the perfect sizing for your carousel post and also the perfect guides for your five slides. So now we can start to work on the next step. Step number two, how to design the perfect carousel post. So here we have two options. In case you're not sure how to start designing, you can explore the template sections for some examples. So you're just gonna go in here in design and as you can see here, Canva is giving you already so many options that you can just grab from here and then it's gonna adjust it to your design. You can just change the color of the background and you just start to play with it. So you can get the best, the best for what you need. Anyways, I'm just gonna make it from zero. So in case you want to make it from scratch, you have some guides of how I did it in this tutorial. So I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna be changing first of all the color of my background. I'm looking for a light purple. So I'm just gonna be here playing on like this color. And now what I would recommend you is that you first set up your letters. So you have already the text that you're gonna be adding for all of your posts. And then you start to add the elements and the images that you want to add on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna be setting up all my text and then we can keep going with the elements and the images. So I'm just gonna make that very quick. Now I do have all my text. So I start by the hook in the first slide, as you can see here, how to organically grow on Instagram. 
three key pillars. So in this way, people get more curious about what I'm going to be showing on this carousel. After this, it's about adding textures and elements to complete your design. And I would recommend you, you add some fun elements between the pages. So these show that they are connected. So I'm just going to be adding some elements. So for me, I would like to add some rainbow. Rainbow on here. And then I'm just going to go to graphics. And on here, I'm just going to look a nice rainbow that I like. Just to add it on here. There we go. Maybe something like this. And then I'm going to choose a little bit dark purple. So just a bit dark and not that much. So we can still see the difference between them. So there we go. And then I like this. I'm just going to start to add them between pages. So when people scroll on them. Oh, also you have to be careful with the guides because they're a little bit sensitive. So you're just going to be working on them, but try to be very careful about them. I'm just going to be adding some elements between the pages. So when the people start to scroll on them, they can see that they're connected. There we go. So I'm just going to be adding maybe some gradient, some uh, gradient. Maybe some textures as well. I'm going to see if I want to add them. So there we have this one, but I want to make it maybe pink. It would look cute. Something like this. And then just we're gonna be adding them. Maybe there. And so this is just about playing with it. Changing position, looking about uh, different textures. And there we have it. Also, I forget to mention it, but I leave this page to leave my profile picture and also to make a call to action so they can share, like, or save the carousel. So I'm just going to be adding that in, in one more minute. First, I'm going to finish with all the designing part. So I'm just going to be adding. Maybe you can... I like to I like to see elements from this JK2. It's, I think they're very modern. Mm. Something more like with my style. And I really like them. So you can see, you can click here and see all of them. And then you can have more more uh, elements like this. I don't really like something from here. So I'm just going to keep looking. Mm, 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 maybe I like this butterfly on here. So I'm just going to be adding on it. Maybe on here. Ooh, this green one also looks very nice. I like better something like this. So there we go. I'm just going to be adding the, the call to action on here. So we're just going to search for heart. You see, it's already there. Oopsie. Heart shape. So it's making it pink, but I want them to be the same as the purple here. In here so we're just gonna click on the color and then I'm gonna click on this purple so then it's gonna get the same purple that I take for that one so maybe in here I'm just gonna delete this one so I can keep all the attention on my call to action so I'm just gonna be here and share share and like maybe also so let's see if we can get it we can just be adding so this one Oopa. Mm, this one so something like this so i'm just gonna put share like and save so we can just gonna be playing with the sizes because i want them all have the same size and on here i'm just gonna be Oopa. unlock it so that i can make my call to action and then this one so I'm going to make them fit so there we go and we want that they have the same colors right so I'm just going to click on them and I'm just going to change the colors and for this one I'm just going to put my call to action for them to interact with my post so on here I'm just going to grab my call to action so 
people don't forget to interact with it so we can do it like this help them that they don't forget to have an interactive with it because maybe people don't like your content and people don't appreciate it but they just forget to do something about it so you can just remind them in a very friendly way i feel that this is a very nice way so if people appreciate it they're gonna make it so they think that it's something that does has value so i just space there we go there and uh, here I'm just going to be adding a picture. Let's see. Um, it could be from yourself. It could be from your Instagram. I would recommend that it's from your Instagram profile picture. So they easily assimilate it. I'm just going to be adding this frame on here. So I can just add a picture. There we go. And then we have... So uh, I'm just gonna add a random picture from here, so it, it's easy. So girl, remember you can upload your picture and then just add it, or the, your profile picture would be the best. Opa. And then you just add it on here. So now I say I do like this design. I want them. I want this to be my carousel, and it's complete. So first of all, what we have to do is we have to save it. So we're just going to click on here in this button in the corner that it says share, but it also works for us to download it. So you're just going to keep it as a PNG. And you're just going to go and click on download. And as you can see, it's already downloaded. So we just have to wait some seconds. So we have already our design. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to Google and then we're going to search for crop carousel image as you can see here already it's already showing up here so i'm just going to click on it and then on here you have to click on the second option my social boutique image splitter so you're just going to click on it and there we go on here you just have to upload your image here it's going to give you the chance to select your image and we're just going to go to take our carousel that we already downloaded from canva so here it's already showing you how it can be split it but because in the beginning we already set the guys we're just gonna click on five and as you can see it's cutting perfectly in the five slides with the same guides that we had so everything is gonna be cut in the perfect way so we're just gonna click in split image and there we go we have our images which is gonna be download downloading all of them i'm gonna show you how does it look in instagram because i just i feel that it does look better when you can you appreciate them better when you see it from instagram so you can see in the screen now how is the final result from your carousel post so as you can see in the moment that you start to slide you see that all the effects and the elements are connected with each other in a perfect way because yeah of course you can make it in different slides but then the elements don't match as when you do it on here and that's it if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more content thank you for watching and see you in another video